You're at Cashman Field. It's media day here. Head coach Marty Brown of the 51s. Coach, when you're coming back, it's good to have the second year underway. Yeah, I think I've been in many first-year situations. The last year being here, was a, it was a, an experience. It's different being here in Las Vegas uh, with dealing with the heat and uh, – you know, uh, the issues that you always have, you know, starting as a first year manager in a new place. But it was a it was a lot of fun. I think this year will be much easier. It'll be a, a lot more interesting with a, a new group of players we have during the off season, Do you go back to Raleigh or do you do you remain here in Vegas? No, I went back to Raleigh this year and got a chance to spend some time with my family and go hunting and fishing and kind of uh, I haven't been able to do that. I've been in, in Japan before this, so it was difficult to get home. But uh, yeah, it was a good off season, uh, and I think spring training was time to get a, get out of there and start getting ready with this group of players. And so we're going to. Uh, I think it's a situation we've got a lot of young, athletic guys that are going to have to. They're still naive; they need to learn, but uh, they got talent. And of course, uh, being a Triple A team, you could have a player pulled up or two, some key players, and you could have a guy ready to start tomorrow night. And if the team upstairs says, "Hey, we want him," then you got to change over your rotation. Tell us how that works for a manager at this level. Well, it's uh, that's why they, they say it's a very difficult job to be in AAA because not only does that move uh, them taking a pitcher or a position player, does it, does it affect that player, uh, but it also affects you know uh, several guys on your club at the existing team that wonder how come it wasn't them and what do they have to do to, to change their uh, the idea of the big club and wanting a player. And then also, too, uh, I think the player coming down uh, you know his uh, his mentality. You've got to keep that in mind as well. So it's a it's a huge adjustment. You just got to try to stay in the present as much as you can. The big bright spots for the 51s right now on the roster would be where. Well, we have uh, you know uh, some guys coming from Double A won a championship last year, and Anthony Ghost and uh, Travis Darno, the catcher. Uh, Anthony's an extremely talented center fielder, uh, great arm, five tool type guy. Stole 70 bases last year. Uh, has some power, hit 16 home runs. Uh, Travis uh, was the MVP of the Eastern League, and uh, uh, you know he he did everything he needed to do last year to really help that team win a championship, and really worked well with their pitching staff. Uh, Danny Hetcheveria, who was here a little bit last year for about uh, 25 games or so, did very well. He's coming to play shortstop. Very talented young man from Cuba, uh, and he's I mean he's. Uh, He's really fun to watch play defense. So there's a lot of really bright spots offensively. Uh, on the other side of the, of the you know, with the pitchers, uh, Chad Beck's probably going to close for us. He's got a really power arm. Um, you know, within uh, our bullpen this year, I think we're going to be a lot more sound than last year. A lot of power arm guys and Jerry Gill and uh, we've got Hoey and uh, Quayo. And so we've got uh, a group of guys that I think are talented. It's just about how we get to know each other, how fast we can get uh, a chance to play as a team. Over the years, uh, Sacramento's been a thorn in the side for, for the uh, 51s. But tomorrow, tell us about the starting pitcher on our side and exactly uh, how you things will work out for the year. Well, Sacramento's been a thorn in a lot of team sides. They've, they've put uh, really good clubs in there, it seems, year after year. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, our starter tomorrow is Aaron Laffey. He's been in big league camp the whole year. Uh, this whole, all this spring and pitched very well, very solid. Uh, he, he brings about some depth for the major league club. Uh, I think he uh, was really close to making that team. So uh, we feel really good about him on the mound. Um, and I think, uh, you know, he's been at the AAA game before. He's got some big league time. So that, that veteran type uh, leader that he is, too, we'll, we'll see a good game from him. 51's manager Marty Brown here on ESPN Radio 1100, 98.9 FM. Lifestyle in Vegas as opposed to Raleigh. <laughs> well, there's no comparison. I think we, we've got uh, uh, there's just anything you can imagine here in Las Vegas as far as food. And my wife and I, it's one of our hobbies. We like to eat. <laughs> so we, we travel around all over and try to experience as many restaurants and shows that we can. Fortunately, I'm not a, a gambler, so I, I stay out of the casinos, which is a good thing. Uh, don't lose money. I try to, if, if I'm going to lose it, I want to buy something, have something to show for it, you know. But, uh, yeah, just the atmosphere here in Vegas is great. The shows, my family comes out. We, we really uh, enjoy the city. And the people here, are, you know, they're from all over. But they're uh, really friendly people. The fans here in the stadium, they, they really seem to enjoy baseball. So it's, uh, it's a, good, a good summer. Before you go, Coach, favorite show you've seen and one you have to see? Favorite show? That you've seen in Vegas. That I've seen. Oh, I saw, uh, I like the, uh, the Circus Olay, the Elvis 
the, yes. I really like that one. I saw the Beatles one too, but I, I'm kind of a fan of Elvis. So, and then I, I think uh, the they're coming out with a new one. I think uh, it might be Michael Jackson with the Circus Soleil. MJ. Yeah, I want to see that.